uh, alternate which is the Hylos na parehas din namang tank na parehas din naman na makakapagbigay sa iyo ng uh, good initiation when it comes to team fight and of course oh look jo at here Jawhead Jawhead pick Oy. dito para sa Happy Fit Emperor sabi mo naman natin bag. oh to <laughs> ano yan eh kumbaga e e ready can use with this draft almost the same draft uh, as game one of course again still going back onto the middle side you have really no space to dilly dally at nang dahil nga dyan, no? we are seeing three man people of hfe dito naman sa gitna trying to pressure out and top force to tower hug etong si lunok well, right here early invade for oh. happy emperors taking down the green and then transitioning Boy. down to the blue I'm liking the strategy here because syempre mawawala ng extra uh, resources when it comes to the, the side of PSO right mm -hmm. here. And ayan nga, going back dito. Ang ganda ng pagkakatransition nila from the mid yep. to the bottom side. And actually cornering Hajiji right here. Hajiji uses the flicker. Oh, but look at that low health and that free hit off of first blood. Ang Kuya McClod. Ay, kikita kita naman natin yung mga kaibigan. A very good example of that rotation. Happy Feet Emperor showing their prowess. Oh, Hayes with the Ring of Punishment, but Danielle is also there really ready for them to push back Hayes just in case they decided to at least contest. Yes, and with that, mukhang binabouncing mo lang ni Kuya Mojito si Selena. But it's okay, this is a good thing for Happy Feet Emperors though, kasi they took advantage of the lesser uh, people from PSO dun sa may bottom side, uh, mm -hmm. which was not enough for to PSO to have that kind of uh, aid. Yeah. But now, mga kaibigan, Oy. Abyssal Arrow, tumama dun sa my minions. But who will secure that one out? I think it will be Carl Tizi on the well on the top lane and had Jeezy with this kind of rotation. Because since alam naman nila na ma, oh, yeah. na, since sumikot dito si Carl Tizi sa taas, lilipat naman sa middle lane dito si Claude for them to get that XP. But looking at our minimap here in the middle lane, they might be able to catch oh, out had Jeezy. And this is what I'm talking about. Yung mga normal attack ni Daniel is a big possibility Ooh. for them to take out that kill. Energy transformation plus the power of nature securing that kill on Daniel. But the burn. Going way too deep here. He might be able to catch out Doggy as well with the slow from the Ring of Punishment. Plus the Law and Order. Plus the Tyrant Revenge. Triple order kill. of Brilliance to secure that triple kill for Cartesi. And that was a very good side for, for, for the side of PSO. Because mm -hmm. they nila spawning the miss nila in the very first few minutes ng ating game. Mm -hmm. Pati ang ganda ng pagkakaikot nila na punish nila agad yung rotations uh -oh. ng Happy Fit Emperors. Getting that return kill oh. and Doggy here with the arrival. Sinusunog na si Cartesi at alam nila na walang order of brilliance. Pero nandun si Hit oh. with a Tyrant's Revenge. Okay, but still, Brilliance in the nick of time para mm -hmm. hindi masalo ang ult ni Ate Mokimi dito. But again, they will be transitioning now to the turtle. And let's see, si Hayes at si Tito nagpa-face check attempting to contest this turtle. And makikita natin, will they be... Oh, looky here, oh, Burn nice uses flicker. the flicker forcefully para hindi siya ma-pick up. And with a knock-up here with Hayes and Doggy just trying to go back as much as possible. But then again, mapupunta nga sa side ng PSO ang objective. But up to what cost, mananakap on both sides. Glory's pathway will be used. Rene J will be free hit. And Hylos again getting out of their kill. But Vern will be having that tower hug. But that Lunox with the help of the Chaos Assault will pick off members of HFE. That's a very good contest. Pero lumamang pa rin dito yung PLDT Smart Omega since they are able to take down the Turtle side. At mukhang uh, si Aaron naghahanap din ng isa pang magandang angulo para makakuha ng Abyssal Arrow. <laughs> really waiting for the night uh, for a right opportunity though. Ooh. Okay, looky here na punta, if I'm not mistaken, okay, Carl still. Okay, Carl TZ at, uh, okay, going back here to the top side, though. Reddit J was able to go and back up, but luckily, nakapag order brilliant. Tong si Lunox to go to take. Yep, at medyo nahihirapan dito si, ano, si, si, uh, Selena mag farm at the mm. moment. At uh, ibang iba yung Selena, ng per performance ng Selena yes. from the previous series. But still, it's quite early, ladies and gentlemen. Three oh. minutes or almost four minutes in, equal pa rin ang uh, kill counts. But when it comes to net worth, hindi naman siya ganun kataas. 1k net worth lead, but almost half of the components na yan para sa core items ng mga core heroes natin dito. Looking at the items right now here, I think uh, Tham's already going for the Bloodlust Axe mm -hmm. on top of the Festival of Blood. So, ang daming skill lifesteal, skill vamp. Para sa ke, para kay Kenji dito. The thing about Happy Feet Emperors here is that they have to capitalize their early game advantage and one of which is the Selena. Pero ang nangyayari, a PSO is able to retaliate kung ano man ang binabato ng HFE dito. And, mm -hmm. ooh, looky here, Carl CZ must have stunned. Doggy will that last insanity, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, now, yeah. but that girl going for that shutdown and Selena, she able to retaliate, gets another kill. But Kenji right here, napabayaan and will be pushing this topside tower. Ang ganda ng pagkakatiming ng chain stun ng Happy Feet Emperors. But will it be enough though, Hajizi? 
looking for another target here. Doggy will go down 15 seconds on the death timer. Turtle Daniel really uh, moving alone here. Medyo yung arrow, hindi tumama. But is it, it is enough for them to push back had yes. GZ and not go for that initiate. And meanwhile, we can see that a uh, draw head, pas simple lang din. This is my split push dun sa baba, but of course, Tom's no not any better. At puputa na dun. And again, here, going back to the turtle side, Kimmy here starts already in attempt to get this, but Heath, had GZ, and Carl TZ are there to face check. And syempre, pipigilan na makakuha ng objective take. And we can see here, mag-bouncing ball si Heath, but hindi umabot ang patakas. Yep, perfectly timing sa kanyang power of nature para mag-proc yung yes. ancestral gift dito ni Vern. Again, di siya natama na kahit anong CC. But with that, Carl TZ moving forward, <laughs> forced to use the Order of Brilliance. Pero mo may arrow pa yung lumili pa hindi tinamaan dito si Carl TZ. But still, the objective for both of teams will be this turtle. Yes, and of course we can see here that Hayes and Heath are trying to prevent an objective. Take all those will be going for that steal and Heath knocking up Aaron here and Carl TZ paputa na dog with the potential gears as well, but still forcefully able to go back. Yep, and ang ganda ng wild charge dito ni Grok. Disabling or cancelling the cast animation of the Tyrant's Rage. Because if they pull off, they will be able to pull off. That's right, Aljan. And of course, going back here, they, both teams cannot afford another pick-off. But speaking of pick-off, the Rene J is going to chaos the Salt Mountain Luna. But so, Baba Regan Doggy will be there to back him up. But here, still objective taking for that Hylos and Claude. It looks like it's going to be Hylos and Claude. Si because which is very essential. And again, here, Heath is going to get 2v1 here with the help of the Barry measure enough to actually give him a bit of the damage but it's not enough to actually fill him up because yeah. again he is a fan and of course Claude off camp is killing that Kimmy away Nako. to misery mukhang delikado ang uh, kalagayan dito ng Happy Feet Emperors unti-unti siya nakokontrol yes. law and order and also the ring of punishment slowing down Doggy here comes Rene J again Ooh. napakagandang ejector pushing him in a very tight spot plus the last insanity from Doggy here, we'll be able to secure that kill. 8-8 eight, eight ang score natin mga kaibigan, pero 5k na ang lamang dito ng PLD Smart Omega. At si Carl TZ, again, taking all of their resources, the turtle takes sa side ng PLDT Smart Omega. Yes, and again, uh, PSO knows any better na they are the type of, uh, they have this kind of composition na can still be advantageous even yeah. though the late game progresses. Yeah. And you know that HFE is getting into a pinch kasi unti-unti na silang nakokontrol na PSO dito. And again, masastun dito si Heath. But of course, there will be no engagement kasi simply he's attacked. Mm -hmm. And again, going back, Kenji here just tries to harass and poke burn <laughs> to shove him back away dun sa ating nagosar. Pati ang ganda ng pagkakapositioning taga dito ng Happy Feet Emperors with the Tyrant's Revenge. Burn that Kiel's Assault will be used and to pick off again, Grok. Ito na nga ba yung sinasabi natin na that's what Lunox is really vital here. Nabuburn niya kasi ang HP na may Si Pati ang sakit niya ni, eh. kasi mo yung yung damage ng uh, ng ng Chaos Assault nagi-improve yan kung ilang bulitas meron siya sa side <laughs> ng Darkening. So kapag yes. dalawa yan mas masakit yung uh, yung damage ng Chaos Art uh, ng Chaos Assault and with that current moment tingin ko medyo mabilis talaga mag spike up yung power levels dito ng ano okay we are Luna. seeing right here ma'am wong hindi mahuhulim hindi mga nakapsikit but looky here four members ng PSO ay nasa gitna rin but again they're still separate still dispersed and Lunox you're just stealing oy hindi ko nakita yun but again going back here into the bottom side the Claude still was able to free hit uh, the jaw head and again to push the bottom tier tower bagal na ni Vern ilang oh, stocks na no. siguro ng pring of punishment to sobrang bagal talaga niya but hey, well, si Rene Jaken is the bottom lane. He tried to use the unstoppable force, but unfortunately, had GZ he does have the purify, so he can easily escape and not giving any space at all. So it's a risk, talaga kapag ano kapag Johet ka. Kailangan mo talaga sumulub So kailangan you need to uh, to really position yourself properly na hindi ka mapapunish ka agad. Ooh, speaking of punish, mukhang naman na nakap si Doggy lang. But again, we'll be trying his best to show. But Hayes here, mukhang he will take that damage enough mm -hmm. para makatakas ang members ng PSO dito. Again, Vern, going for his very first kill. Pero makunat pa rin ang card easy. Pero hindi maabot ka. Selena will be picking off that Hylos. And again, Heath here, wala pa rin nahuhuli. And that could be an... You know, they have to disengage right now because yeah. minus one of their members. Mm, but they can't. Yeah. Because they're going to shift the momentum. Mm. 
they cannot afford another kill right here because they can map table turn mm -hmm. ng HFE if they overcommit too much onto that top side. Indeed. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, looking at the items here of uh, Kimi, he just recently picked Hoy. up that Holy Crystal. So, hindi lang siya pwedeng, uh, well, hindi lang siya sa physical damage na rely Meron na rin siyang damage sa kanyang energy transformation. Mm -hmm. So, I think he's already going for the Raptor Machete. He's already building it up, finishing it up. Kaso, magiging problema dito is they really need to find that right timing na makapag free hit dito si Kimi for him Lord, to be effective. Lord, resurrecting soon. Nakita mo yun kanina ka, Munti, na si Claude matamaan ng araw. Ah, araw. Kanina, buti lang, it was an inch na hindi umabot mm -hmm. because he kind of like flick uh, he went there the, the mismo direction na arrow but that was a good choice because they are in a very good position to go for this lord as he has and he doing a very good job to zone out the members of HFE oh pati ang ganda at ito mo ang bilis mabasag ka agad si Hadjizi with the golden staff pumuputok literal ang physical attack ni, uh, ni Claude dito and Aww. again another objective will be taken by PLDT Smart Omega nice wall there but it's a surprise oh look here tatak mo tatalon pero ayan na nga si Doggy but try again to show away the members of uh, PSO which is a good job but again we know that PSO has this patience so it doesn't really bother them kung mapupush nila away because they can go for another reset and again go mm. for a potential team fight yep Pero ngayon, medyo nag, uh, naghahanap ng magandang timing mm. ang dalawang teams dito since they knew that the Lord is already marching Oy. into the bottom lane. Doggy, without the Firago armor, giving him a little bit of uh, opportunity to run away. Oh, yung backline dito si Kenji. Napakin ng ejector. Ma Mahahagis pabalik. And that is what we need for Jawhead right here. Kailangan niya lang mag-pick up one by one for the members of PSO para maikot nila ang takbo ng momentum na ginagawa. Yeah. Yeah. And again, but of course, the Lord is still here. They, it's still added pressure for the side of HSE. And unless na makahuli set magandang pick-off, it's going to be very difficult. But again, speaking of pick-off, mukhang may na-disengage kanina. Mm -hmm. At Mohan, the Lord has been taken out. A little bit of damage for this tier 3 turret in the bottom lane. Vance Doggy, last insanity, and forced to BMI. Para kayo Hajizi. He is trying to follow it up and heat as well. Showing that he already used his Tyrant's Revenge. Holy Crystal as well forward to Selena. He is taking a lot of damage though. And here comes the energy transformation from Daniel. The HP or rather the, uh, the SP is not enough. So he is really uh, tanky right now. I think he haven't updated or upgraded his uh, elegant gem yet. Ah, ito na. May clock of destiny na dito si, uh, si, si Hayes yes. with his uh, high low. So... Uh, Unting minuto lang hinihintay niya for him to get another 300 HP on top of the clock of the destiny. So, ang dami agad mas kukunat siya habang tumatagal yung laro. Yes, I like the way that PSO is actually uh, dispersed here para makapag-apply ng pressure to both top, middle, and bottom turret. But at the same time, I think it would be very more effective for them na if they like, could go together for that team fight. Kasi kung napapansin mo, they are slowly being picked off if magkakahiwalay sila. And again here, we can we saw that the Lunox was stunned by the arrow. But it wasn't really enough to engage a team fight. And speaking here, si Kenji mag lang dito. And I think like what I've been saying kanina, it was, it's Initiate best retreat. na magsama-sama PSO dito if they want this job done. But again, HFE. Still doing a good job defending the remaining turrets that they have. And as we can see right now, ladies and gentlemen, ang isa sa mga nangyari, yung pag pagiging pagkaparehas ng uh -huh. game on game to natin is talagang iniipit ng uh, PLDT Smart Omega dito yung Happy Feet Emperor sa loob. At habang nangyayari yan, well, meron silang arrows, but this is what they're waiting for. Yeah. Kapag yung arrows tumama sa, sa kakampi ng PSO, Hindi yung hinihintay nila oh, opportunity oh. to strike back eh. Kasi so, they know na mas matagal silang magsusurvive. Yeah. Ang, ang laki talaga ng, uh, oh. dito, ng challenge for Happy Feet Emperors right now. But still, ladies and gentlemen, there's uh, still a uh, big possibility. Oh, kahit nga si oh. ano dito, si Sikufra, tinatangkin niya lahat ng damage. Even Kamunti ka na siya makulong doon. Makulong doon. <laughs> Nak <laughs> Grabe. If, dahil if nak nakulong siya doon, it could be a potential. Kahit sabihin natin may immortality siya, it was a good minus one takeoff for the side of HMP. Yeah. Pero, but then again, they have to be very careful. Kasi PSO, they're still, inihintay kasi nila na magsimula ang HMP kasi doon sila makakabaw. Totoo yun. Kasi ang, ano kasi, ang risk kasi dito ng PLDT Smart Omega na kapag sila ang nag-engage, malapit dun yung turret. Yeah. And you, kahit gano'ng kakunat, pero pag nakailang hit sa yung turret, <laughs> lalambot at lalambot ka pa rin. Yun din yung hinihintay ng Happy Feet Emperors dito. As you can see, we, uh, really uh, kudos for Happy Feet Emperors right here. Really patiently waiting <laughs> for PLDT Smart Omega to make a mistake. Yes, but Pero, up to what extent up to what sila extent maghihintay dito? Kasi sooner or earlier, something is bound to happen Lord, here that can be soon. in the 
the favor of emperors or not so much. Pero makikita pa rin natin dito. And again, the Lord, makikita natin sa ating baba ng screen, has already spawned. And again, of course, uh, PSO having this map control, aabusuhin na taabusuhin na lang dito. Because Hajizi is already in position to take that Lord. And HFE knowing this, papunta na sila doon. But then again, the Kufra and the Lunox are here to zone out while Hajizi prioritizes that Lord. At mukhang uh, malapit na yata mawala. 50% HP yes. ang Lord dito mga kabisi. Doggy taking a lot of damage though and Ooh, yung dalawang it. tanks ng PLD to Smart Omega is just zoning the rest and pushing back Happy Feet Emperors not giving any opportunity for them to contest the Lord pero nag-reset ang Lord natin yeah. dito so they still have another chance but it won't really stop PSO from getting it again kahit na-reset because take note nasa kanila pa rin ang map control yep. and the patience that PSO is giving against HFE is just surreal and he's right here knocking up Doggy para mabounce him ball and of course to zone him out once more and again na-reset muli and it was a very good job for the side of HFE but up to what cost we are seeing right here right now Doggy burn and Aaron into the glorious Path race, but right now we can see that Keith Sinestanya ang uh, let's that yes. trap. But that Lunox here get a killing spree and again Kufra on Ponti yung ting. Pini pick up the PSO ang members ng Happy Feet Embers as they disperse here to and fro and again arrival for the Hilos to get that top tower. And here Johed mananaka muli ni hit and again goes for that kill. Ang ganda ng pagkakabato niya ng spell curse, slowing down Rene J. At nung nakit nung tumama yung spell curse, nung na slow siya. Tsaka niya binato yung kanyang Tyrant's Revenge. And this might be it. Ladies and gentlemen, PLDT Smart Omega looking really good right now with the 2-0 sweep against Happy Feet Emperors getting the three points away from them. That was a beautiful performance for the side of PSO. You know that they... Hirapan talaga ang umikot yung Happy Feet Emperors for them to make a comeback. And let's check our post stats for our Game 2 for our last series right now. Carl TZ again with his Lunox. Almost the same build-up, but I have a lot of genius one. Plus the Queen Wings gathering 12,300 net worth on their side. And 